Welcome to Ask Chef Tony. My name is Michael Cimino, and today I'm your guest sommelier. The sommelier is the wine guy, and I'm here today to pair some wines with the food that's been prepared. Today I've been asked to pair a wine with this dish that's been created from goat cheese, mushrooms, and truffle fondue. When it comes to classic pairings, the one thing you want to always keep in mind is never have a wine that will overpower the food and never allow the food's flavors to overpower the wine. What you're looking for is what we call a classic pairing, where the wine complements the food and the food complements the wine and together makes a meal made in heaven. When I look at this dish and I see the predominant ingredient is goat cheese, one of the classic pairings with goat cheese is Sauvignon Blanc. And the reason why Sauvignon Blanc and goat cheese work so well together is because the acids and enzymes that are present in both are very similar. But when you surround the goat cheese with the French toast and mushrooms and the fondue, we have to think a little bit outside the box. When I think of the classic aromas and flavors of mushrooms, I think of wines that smell earthy. A traditional pairing with mushrooms alone would be French Burgundy. A traditional pairing with the fondue, which is made with truffle, would be a northern Italian wine. So thinking about this dish overall, we have to think, like I said, outside the box. And what I've chosen today is a Pinot Noir that's from northern Italy. This one from Peter Zemmer is very reasonably priced and one of the best Pinots that I've found on the market. Keep in mind, food and wine pairings are always subjective and there's no right or wrong. Just keep in mind that you want to not overpower the food with the wine and vice versa. The second dish that we'll be pairing wine with today is slab bacon a la plancha, which is seared on the griddle and it's served with a bourbon barbecue sauce and crispy shallots. My instinct says what would be nice flavors with barbecue and traditionally we would serve a Zinfandel, a nice ripe fruit forward red from California. But again, I like to think and give you, think out of the box and give you alternatives. An alternative that I think is a perfect match for this and staying local because we are here in New York is Kings Garden Vineyards Syrah. Now the Syrah grape a native of the Rhone Valley in France needs a lot of heat to come to fruition and to ripen fully. In the Finger Lakes of New York, where it's a cold weather growing region, the Syrah grows a very different style. So it's not as full bodied, not as ripe, and the acid levels are higher. This is a great example of how to utilize the acids that are naturally present in wine to cut through the richness of a dish. The spiciness of the Syrah grape will go wonderfully with the barbecue sauce and the acids will play off the bacon itself. Together, another match made in heaven. Bon appetit. <laughs>